Hope you're hungry. I have all of my favorites in here. Let's see. French toast, scrambled eggs, bacon, extra crispy, ah, and those potatoes that you love so much. get all of that in here? I have my ways. Okay, it's probably not a good idea to start to do some pops right at this point. I also offered him dinner for free at the Metro Court, okay? Coffee and orange juice. Whatever you like. Let's face it, Carla, you didn't come here to serve me breakfast. What is it you really want? I need to know. Did you and Sonny have Jerry killed last night? Husband, I have to find out what happened to Jerry. What makes you think he's dead? Well, the window in his hotel room was smashed out and no one's seen him since. Mm, sounds like someone finally caught up to him. I'd like to say it was me, but it wasn't. And as far as I know, it wasn't Sonny either. I had to ask. Right. Now that I know, I need to focus on getting you out of here. Hey. Okay, since Rick has already come up with a way to convince the judge to deny you bail, we're going to have to come up with something ourselves. I was thinking we could start with the mayor. He's got to have skeletons in his closet. We could find something incriminating and get him to drop the charges. Carl, forget it. No, you know don't what? help me at all. We can have the arrest thrown out. I can convince Lucky to say that he made a mistake. I want you to forget about the whole thing. What are you talking about? It's perfect. Elizabeth and Jake were in the coffee house while you were arrested. Lucky made a mistake. Lucky, he was distracted. Leave, I want you to leave Lucky out of don't it. Don't you think he owes you? I do. You've saved Elizabeth how many times? Hell, if it weren't for you, she would never be to the No, no. Let me tell you something. You're not being charged with some misdemeanor. You're being charged with murder. If there was ever a time to cash in a favor, it would be now. Why are you having such a problem with this? Look, I know you're worried about me, and I appreciate it, but you can't pull some crazy stunt to get me out of this, Carly. It's only going to make things worse. How much worse can things get? You've been denied bail, which means Rick has... Well, that means I'm going to be locked up until my trial. And I'm supposed to do nothing about well, that. Well, you can't get me out of this by, by blackmailing Rick or blackmailing the mayor. I won't have to if we can get Lucky on board. I don't want Lucky lying for me. It's not fair. It's not fair to who? Lucky or Elizabeth? Wow. I can't believe I'm thinking about her. Oh, isn't this cozy? I am allowed to be here. You can't do anything about it, Rick. Oh, cool your jets, Carly. I'm actually glad that you're here. It saves me a trip. I have a few questions to ask you. I told you everything I know about Jerry. This is about Lorenzo Alcazar. And the argument you had with him shortly before his death. I don't know where you got your information, but I didn't have an argument with Lorenzo before he died. I barely spoke to the man. Is that so? Mm -hmm. Then what were you doing at his house? You don't have to tell him anything. There's Go nothing on. to tell. I stopped by Lorenzo's to ask him questions about his business dealings with James Craig. Is that before or after you realized that Craig was actually Jax's brother? Didn't this office prove the opposite? What did Mr. Alcazar tell you about Craig? Nothing. Lorenzo couldn't get me out of the house fast enough. Why do you think that is? I don't know, but if I had to guess, I would say Lorenzo had a plane to catch. He's probably hiding out somewhere in South America right now while you're trying to railroad Jason. It's not railroading, Carly, when you actually do the crime. What crime? There was no body, right? Oh, I got something better. Uh, Stone Cold, um, look, I, I just came by to check to see if the Mighty Ten laid down by the old wise dudes was properly being adhered to. The what? See, uh, Stone Cold here was, um, guaranteed certain unalienable rights by our founding fathers. You know, number four protects against cruel and unusual punishment, so if you or any of your brothers in arms violate that rule, the jack will rain down terror on you like the goth god of Zoom. Look, kid. I don't know what you just said, but you got 15 minutes. If you're not stone cold, <laughs> I've secured your freedom. What are you talking about? Okay, look, I, I hacked into the law abiding one system. Okay, so at exactly 10.08 tonight, the fire alarm will go off, at which point your cell door will slide open and you can walk out. I want you to delete it. What are you talking about? It's really simple. I don't, I don't want you breaking me out of here. Come on, come on. You can't hate a plan when you haven't even heard the best part. Actually, you see... It's, it's nothing. You know, it's so convenient the way all of your co-conspirators keep showing up at their own accord. It saves me a trip. Mr. Spinelli, yes. any questions? I have nothing to say to you, Rick. I happen to know that he used to work for Lorenzo Alcazar. Right? Send him files. Encrypting them. You know, you'd be the perfect person to provide Jason with information and tech support necessary for him to pull off Alcazar's murder. That would make you an accomplice. 
Which is exactly how I'm going to charge you if you don't tell me everything you know. On the next General Hospital... We can't keep doing this. We just got married. This has to stop. You know what this is. Dead car? Your son's just harpooned it. Jason's facing a charge of murder and so we know. Jackal will tell all. Watch weekdays on ABC, weeknights on SoapNet.